Hey there, uh, Joshua here from uh, the X1 Plus team. So we just released X1 Plus 2.0, but in the background, we've also been working on something else here. You see, this is a, this is a normal X1 Carbon right here. Um, and it's got like a little box right behind the display. And so we've been working on this thing that we call the X1 Plus expansion board. Uh, and you can see there's a bunch of other stuff connected. But first of all, I'm just gonna show you, let me, let me show you one thing real quick here. Um, so you can see that my printer is on the network and let's see, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to hit play on my laptop and there you go. It begins playing. Very good. Um, so it's definitely on the network now and I'm going to come in here and so I'm on Wi-Fi and I'm just going to turn Wi-Fi off there. Go back to my home screen. Yep. Wi-Fi is definitely off. And... Just to uh, just to show you what's going on, I uh, the slicer doesn't really the slicer can't really figure it out, but it's not really going to connect, right? It's it's definitely offline. And so I'm going to come back over here, and on the floor here, whoop, I've got myself this uh, Ethernet cable, and I'm just going to plug that in to my expansion board here. Hey, it says uh, connected to wired network. So that's pretty cool. And uh, sure enough, let's go back over here. And uh, with any luck, come back and hit go. And I've got an image again. So the rest of this, I'm just going to show you this uh, on the wired network. It's kind of more fun that way. Um, so there's a couple of other cables plugged into this thing. And one of them you're noticing is this guy coming out the top here. And so let me just show you a little bit here. I have a, uh, I squared C, this is a standard Adafruit SparkFun, uh, I squared C interface. And I have this I squared C humidity sensor that I have inside my AMS here. And so, uh, one of the things that you're going to see here is that I have a live humidity readout on the inside of the AMS. Uh, and so you, you can plug in all sorts of I2C devices if you want, by the way, uh, like a light sensor if you'd like. There is, if you want more humidity sensors than just this one, I, I can show you this one's alive also. I'm just gonna pull it out of here and you'll see the readings start to change pretty quickly uh, as, I, as I hold it in my hand here. You can see the humidity is going way up. Uh, and sure enough, that makes sense because uh, humans are fairly humid. Uh, but the other thing that I'm pretty excited about that we've got going on here is I've also got, some, so basically what this thing is, is it's got ethernet uh, and an FTDI in here. And so, and a USB hub. So there's two USB ports on the side here uh, and a whole bunch of GPIO on the top. And so, that's exciting for all sorts of reasons. Uh, I, I'm particular think, or particularly thinking about triggering camera shutters on DSLRs and things like that. But also I've got hooked up a array of NeoPixels here. Uh, and just to kind of give you an idea of the sorts of things that we might want to do with this. Well, one, if you just want some more light, then obviously you can just have some more light, sure, no problem. Um, but um, I was thinking it might be nice to get a visual indicator of how your print is going um, as, as kind of a visual progress bar. Uh, so you don't have to walk up to the printer. You can, you can just do it. Uh, you, can, you can just look in the distance. Oh, looks like my print's paused. Um, yeah, I, I, guess, I guess you'd want to know that, huh? And, and, that's, and also, this is the sort of thing that you might want in a print farm also. Which printer is done? Which printer is, is not yet done? Okay, sure. And uh, there you go. Now my, now my print is done. And, you know, I, I imagine that everybody, uh, everybody loves the X1 Plus Taste the Rainbow. And so, you know, we can, of course, every RGB LED strip necessarily needs a color cycle feature. Um, so anyway, this is, this is sort of where we're getting started with. I think there's a lot to do on this. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of work to do, but there's also a lot of cool stuff that could happen. And... I'm not really sure how big the, the market is for this thing. I, I think we, we probably could sell it. <laughs> I don't know if you're interested, 
tell us. But anyway, uh, so enjoy X1 Plus 2.0. Uh, there's a whole bunch of cool new stuff in there. And this, I just kind of get the sense it might be exciting to some folks. So anyway, take care, folks. Bye-bye.